Greetings, survivors, and welcome back to Brutus Salazar, and of course, to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Now, before we get down to the good stuff today, we need to... Well, don't worry, we're not going to be uh, doing another complete uh, building episode. That last was just going to have to wait for another time. Uh, however, we are going to be... Am I overburdened? I'm... Did I not take them around? Hmm. Let's grab a... Yeah, yeah, I am overburdened. I knew I should be. Uh, we are going to instead... Uh, cook up some, or rather, boil some water. Uh, following that, I think we're going to actually try and make a folding card. I think that would be pretty awesome to do. And then maybe we're going to head into the town. we got 23% charge on the car. We might as well use that. Uh, right, so, first and foremost, I would very, very, very much like to make... Uh, hmm, let's think. I could make... Some sweet water, or I can just make some clean water. I think we're going to make some clean water. We're going to make all 12 charges if we can. We probably can. First, I'm going to drink it until I, uh, uh, sure, we'll, we'll drink it anyway. And then we're going to pour it into my small water skin. Then we're going to pour however much is left into these various things we've got lying around. So, uh, we've got 12 actual plastic bottles. Wow. Uh, we've got a gallon jug over there, actually. We'll pour it into the gallon jug. There we are. And the three litre jar can go out here. Back in the rain. And we'll grab this one. Same thing. We're immediately going to boil this water off. There we are. And please make me all of the clean water that we can. Pour it into the gallon jug first. Then, um, glass bottles, I guess. There we are. Marvellous. Got enough water that we're not going to have to worry about for quite some time, actually. Okay, so, next up, I would like to make some food. And I'm thinking, sure, let's make some more scrambled eggs, shall we? In fact, let's make two batches of scrambled eggs. There we go. Nom those down. Uh, no, let's not waste the food. The food is a little bit more important right now. Okay, so, let's unwield the umbrella. Store in my inventory. Where my crossbows, just not in my hands. We will also drop the towel down since I don't need it with me. In fact, let's drop those down. We'll drop the stone shovel down since I'm not going to be using it. And in fact, we'll drop the umbrella as well. I will be keeping hold of my fork spear. In fact, I'm going to wield my fork spear just in case. You never know. Uh, how many boards we got there? Uh, we can start reinforcing the doors at some point, but we're going to do that later. Now... What we want to do instead is actually start work on vehicle uh, or other, I guess. Uh, let's actually look at uh, frame. We want a foldable frame. Now, we can't make these because we do not have makeshift welders. Can we actually make a makeshift welder yet? <laughs> Don't pay too much attention to that. Uh, right, uh, new, 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 we do not yet have the means to make a makeshift welder, nor do we even know how to make one, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, so frame it is, we want a foldable wooden frame, we need two heavy sticks, really. can I make heavy sticks? Heavy, ah. Oh. We can't. Damn. Damn drat and blast. We can't make heavy sticks. Uh, can I deconstruct these and will I get heavy sticks? No, I'll just get two by fours. Well, that is remarkably frustrating. We're going to actually have to go into town just to get heavy sticks. Unless. Ho, 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 ho. Umbrella, you're coming with me. We're going to wield you. And we are going to go. Into the forest. Uh, however, before we do... Hmm, actually, no. We're not going to take the two... Oh, wood soil. No, we will take it. Okay. Let's head up. Uh, let's pop that down. Now, if we... It's not the best time to go out in the middle of the night. But the time that we are going out. So, there we go. Um, if we smash small bushes... 
then we should be able to get that. But I don't really want to break my full spear, if I'm here, to be honest. Let's go in and grab my crowbar. There we are. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's have a look. Do we have a a, a saw? Uh, we've got a saw, sorry, yeah, an axe. Or a circular saw, actually. Uh, frying pan, no, we don't need that. We do not. Have we got anything on the other screen? No, okay. Then, what we're going to get is an axe. Let's have a look. We can make a stone axe, a hand axe, or a makeshift axe. Uh, tree cutting to... It's only got one. So the makeshift axe is actu actually the better one. We can use a 2x4. Is there a heavy stick nearby? Huh. Really now. I must have needed more than one, I guess. Uh, we'll, but we'll use one of the, the two buffles, obviously. Uh, there we go. And we'll use a lump. Well, we'll use a chunk of steel. Uh, we'll actually use the withered plants, because I don't have too much opportunity to use this. And there we go. We now have a makeshift axe. And we're going to use this to chop down some of these trees. So, if we have a look at that. Patch gun mod. Chop it. Uh, chop a tree trunk into log. Chop down a tree. Can't chop down that young tree. Oh, How about chopping down this tree then? Uh, select a direction the tree will fall in. It can go that direction. There we go. Kerjunk. And now we've got tree trunks. They are. They look literally look like tree trunks. Don't, don't worry. Don't, don't think about it too much. Uh, let's see, we can chop it into logs. Chop it into planks. Uh, we can cut metal if we really wanted to. Saw down a barrel. Wow, okay. Um, no, I think this is fine. Let's go ahead and chop into logs, I suppose. There we go. Finish chopping it down, and we've just got three logs. Ah, well, that's not quite going to be what we want then. Uh, still, it, it, it is useful. Um, you have a look at a log. A large log cut down from a tree. Activate a wood axe or wood saw to cut it into planks. So, you can... Cut it down into logs, and you can use those to on in a fire. They will burn for a long time, which is super useful, obviously. Uh, or you can just cut them down while you're out, and, uh, cut them into planks when you're out and about, and, and take them back that way. Uh, underbrush is empty. Have I searched these before? I may have. Mm, we could try and smash them. Get uh, with the plants, nothing. With the plants, we're not really getting what we need from them. All right. Well, let's continue having a look around then. It's an oak tree. We've definitely been here because we picked the bark. Ah, I can see that these ones haven't been uh, searched before. Oh, hello. Can you see me? No. Good. Let's uh, grab my crossbow. Now you're going to know that something is around here. Because you've heard the sounds. Reload. And take a shot. Uh oh. Something nearby to the west. Reload. There we are. Take another shot. Try. And it's gone. Disappeared. Oh, hello! That wasn't what I was expecting. No thanks. Not today. Uh, <laughs> if I had a, a light, I could flick it on deal with those, but um, maybe I should just grab my oh, spear, drop my duffel back. Ah, that would take me so much time. It's really not what I want to do. What I need to do is let it approach me. Uh, I'll I'll wander around a little bit more while, while the uh, shady zombies are out on the prowl. And if I'm lucky, yeah, I know you're there. I'm very lucky. I will draw one into my cunning trap. Hello. Uh, don't mind me. Just going to move past here, get you trapped on a bunch of stuff. Ooh. Aha. You're doing the work for me. I approve. No, no. Don't, don't mind me. It tried to bite my leg, but I'm far too strong. Oh, heavy sticks. Oh, let it, let it attack me. <laughs> it can't hurt me. My armor is too good. 
This is why you take a lot of time to make this stuff. Because then you can train up your dodge by just standing there. Uh, take a shot. There we go, thank you. Keep moving, reload. Let's move back. Slow down. Hello. Uh, don't ignore that distraction. There we go. And please have my metal crossbow bolts back. And all of the rest of your stuff, actually. Uh, yeah, well, no. Grab it all. Oh, you actually hurt me. You scoundrel. What did you manage to do? Did you break anything? Pick my torso. My torso. Of all things. Oh, what, a, what a pain in the bum you are. Alright. Well, we could just draw all the way back. Wait for it to come find me. That's, uh, oops. Keep pressing that wrong button. Uh, okay, good. Stop waiting. Yes. Just wanted you to get close enough. And I could lure you into the pit. And then, oh, I've got to reload. Then I can make you walk out of the pit. And while you're doing that, I will reload. There we go. Hello. Okay, you to walk closer? I would appreciate it if you would. Okay, you to walk even closer? There we are. <laughs> How badly damaged are you? You're yeah, heavily injured. I could probably shoot you from here. <laughs> Headshot! Alright, there we go. Right, let's pull your corpse out of the pit, please. And there we go. And we'll just... Uh, yeah. Stop interacting. I did manage it, though. It's interesting. Uh, don't mind me. Just gonna walk up here and then reload. Don't stop reloading. No, don't stop reloading. It fell into the pit. We're fine. And shoot. No, don't worry too much about it. It's fine. He actually did cut my leg. I'm being a little bit overconfident. My boxer sh You wounded my boxer shot. My lord, what part of my leg were you going for, you? My goodness, how rude. But yes, we, we're being far more confident than we really deserve to be here. So let's dial that back a bit. This is not how Brutus Salazar survives the uh, apocalypse. This is how Brutus Salazar dies in a stupid way because uh, he thinks he's too good for the apocalypse, frankly. He can't be killed. No, no, no. Um, okay, let's just reload the crossbow. Let's uh, slow down to a walk. Where the crossbow? Wield my umbrella. And pull up the cover. We're good for now, I think. Um, actually, let's drop down the heavy sticks. We're going to go out, and we're going to grab those logs, if we can. They're very heavy, though. It's more the weight that's hurting me here. The stamina is dropping very fast. Yeah, I know. Drop it. Drop them down. There we go. Now recover. Let's wait for 30 minutes. There we are. That's a little better now. Okay, so let's uh, drop some of the one of the logs in there. And then light that up in just a moment. Let me drop off the uh, screwdriver. Grab the fire drill. And light that on fire. Now that's going to burn for quite some time. So we've got a, got a while now where we can, first and foremost, have some scrambled eggs. And then we can immediately have a drink of root beer. In fact, we'll have to because we did take a bit of, bit of a, a fight there. Okay, so, uh, let's actually have a look. Have I gone up now? Yes! My... Oh, no. I thought my piercing skill had gone up to three. Alas! Really close, but not quite there yet. Our survival is going up nicely, though. Uh, but what we really want to do is a frame. Finally. A foldable wooden frame takes five two-by-fours and two heavy sticks. Now, realistically speaking, we only want... A... You could make an entire... Like, a bigger wagon, if you wanted to. Let's go for something a little bit smaller, though, instead, shall we? Let's begin a vehicle construction. And let's start the vehicle there. Uh, we're going to call this one the... Um, hmm. We'll have a temporary name for now. But this name... Uh, foldable Battle Troll. Foldable trolley, then. We need a better name than this, obviously. 
so do let me know in the comments down below what you think the name for our new uh, trolley should be. And this is what we're going to be actually taking in uh, at, at back and forth through the uh, in the car with us. Now, I'm not going to have caster wheels. We're going to need something else for that. But first and foremost, let's actually have a look at it. So examine this first. If we wanted to install something, what would we want to install? A shuttered door. Foot! Think of that. We do have foot pedals. We could, in fact, make this into a bike. We would need a lot more, though. I'm going to need this to be a much larger vehicle. Much larger. But we could. It would, we could make it into sort of a, a, a little little um, bicycle um, trolley. And again, it could still be foldable. Let's have a look at cargo. Foldable shopping cart basket. Uh, I need something that can fold. It has to be foldable. Foldable door, foldable wooden box. We need a foldable frame for that. Any other foldable items here? Um, washing machine. No, it'll have to be a folding wooden wooden box. Cargo capacity is only three, uh, thirty thousand. That's not as good. A regular box is double that. So this would have less room in it than a regular wooden uh, than our regular battle trolley right now. If I did that. If we made a cargo space, it would have ridiculous amounts of room, but it would be 80 kilograms. That's not quite what we want. Not even slightly. This folding basket we could do, but we'd need a makeshift welder to do it. We'd also need a folding wire basket, so we would have to make that. Now, I think our best bet is to make two folding wooden boxes. All right. Something that we can look at into. A foldable seat. We can do that. Okay. This is definitely something that we can do. It's going to take time. But I think we can make it happen. Okay, we'll make a foldable seat. There we are. And I'd also like to install the foot cranks. Uh, can we actually get those? Oh, can we no longer put the pedals? Ah, is that not something that we can do then? Hmm. Where were they in this? It won't be in the cargo. And floor panel. No, no, there we, there we are, foot pedals. Okay, we'll pop those on there as well. Feeling tired. Uh, don't stop interacting with the vehicle yet. So we've got the beginnings of our of our foldable frame. Uh, currently, uh, I'm not sure. Its mass is six kilograms. All right. Let's let's actually see how this folds down. If I have a look at it, and I can fold the entire vehicle down, you painstakingly pack uh, pack the foldable trolley into a portable configuration. It is a volume of six and a weight of five. I mean, it's quite heavy, to be fair, but it's not terrible. We'll pick it up, and then we'll apply it there. There we go. So we've unfolded it again. This wasn't my plan, but I'm liking it. I am liking it. I We can drive it, I believe, without vehicle controls, uh, because the, the pedals count as controls. So uh, we can't go anywhere, though, so we may as well not. So let's uh, stop driving. Uh, there we go. So uh, control individual en engines is just foot pedals. Stop driving. There we go. Now we can step off. This is going to be an interesting build. Very interesting build. It's not going to be using any kind of f fuel, so it's just power. Uh, we're going to need wheels as well. Now, we should be able to make some wheels, actually, as it happens. We have a look. Wheel. Uh, wooden cartwheel. 
We have wheelchair wheels. We need a while to make those. Um, disassembling this item takes about six minutes. We can have a banded wooden cartwheel. It's reasonably heavy, though. 20 inch cartwheel. If we could find some bicycle, I mean, we could use casters, but uh, <laughs> that makes no sense. Um, we're going to need at least two of these. So, uh, let's make one of them. There we are. And then apply this. We'll install it in this tile. We'll, we'll just make this a two tile construct. Let's pop that in there. There we go. This, as it stands, we have made a folding unicycle. Okay, so... We might actually be able to try this. Should we try it while we're, while we're like, dizzy from being tired? You know what? Yes. Yes, we should. Okay, I want to go backwards. Let's see. Doesn't have enough wheels to move. What? I haven't got enough wheels. Oh, okay. I guess, I guess it doesn't. All right. We haven't made a unicycle then. Uh, stop driving. Let go of the controls and move on. Uh, let's actually have a look. Yeah, it lacks wheels. We, we need one more wheel, I guess. All right, then. We'll add another wheel down there. I wonder if the <laughs> banded wooden cartwheels will work for this. We'll have to see. But uh, that's not going to be what we're going to be doing now. We need to have a drink of some herbal... Well, yeah, you've done a lot of work today. You can have some herbal tea. And then we're going to go to sleep. The light down there is going to be a bit of a pain, but... It's fine. Let's drop off all of the things that we don't need. For now. We are wheeled. Our forked spear. And curl up for the night. We are absolutely knackered. We are shattered down into our bones. That fire is still going this late, uh, much later. So yeah, we're, we're probably going to just be using logs for more or less everything from now on. Um, makes a lot more sense. Right, wheel to the duffel bag, the crossbow. Uh, sorry, wear them. Uh, wear the quiver. And grab all of these wonderful things. There we go. Alright, we are going to need more items there, though. More things definitely are going to be needed. I need a golf club. We're going to take that out with us. Because I want something that I can use to thwack uh, bushes with. There we are. Let's uh, wield my umbrella for now. Uh, have we spotted a zombie? Yes, we have. I thought we might. See how close it is. It has actually seen me as well. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll go ahead and we'll take it out with the crossbow if we can. Where are you? Can Ooh. I suppose I should go and deal with that, I guess. But Bump. That was a good hit. Put some proper distance between us. Reload. Don't worry about it. Walk up. And fire again. There we are. We are getting very deadly with this. Very deadly. What was this? It was a raccoon. Uh, no, it wasn't a raccoon. It was a zombie. It's just I was looking at something else. There we are. We'll just run this back. Might as well. We haven't broken up all of the uh, items that we've gathered for a little while. We should probably make a point of doing it. Let's wield the golf club. And then smash this bush. There we go. Heavy sticks from smashing the bushes. Well, that is useful. That is super useful. Okay, let's drop these off. A little bit overburdened, but that's fine. And I've got six heavy st sticks there. And the reason why I'm using the golf club is because I don't want to risk my uh, spear from being damaged. There we are. Four there. Five. Wow, okay, that's all we need for now. Let's drop those off. So, yeah, that's not going to be an issue for us. Okay, uh, we'll open the door up. Oh, hello. Wield crossbow. Ah, reload crossbow, fire crossbow. Am I actually even going to be remotely able to hit this thing? I'm really not sure that I'm going to be able to hit it as it happens. A fairly low chance. Fire. Fire. Oh, we did actually hit it. Reload. Fire. We may actually have a meal. Made of meat, no less. How oh, amazing! Uh, no, I just want the corpse. Thank you! 
Uh, what's they? Dude, it's just a bunch of damn gold. Uh, actually, let's drop the corpse outside. Let's not let's not take that in. A damaged raccoon corpse. Two chunks of meat. Oh, happy days. Happy days. How long will that last? Um, a day. Well, we're not going to risk it. Let's uh, get one log. Drop that over there. Light the fire. We're immediately going to cook that. It's been a long time since we've had meat. We could make some meat jerky and then it would last for a jillion years. Um, but it's not really the best thing to do with it. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, can we make anything really nice? Uh, let's make some bone broth. Uh, we'll use clean water in from there. Am I tired? No, I'm not good. Pour into a glass bottle. Now, let's see if we can't make something with that. Ah, oh, we can make meat and soup. Four portions of this, by the way. It'll last for five days. Nutritious and delicious hearty meat soup. That was well worth it. So the bird eggs and the two chunks of meat. Yes, please. Uh, we'll use the reptile eggs. And first things first, I'm going to eat a lot of it, actually. Um, it seems I'm going to eat most of it. And then we're going to pour the rest into... Crick glass bowl. Damn, I wish I'd realized that. I'm gonna pour it into my pour it into my teapot, you nuts. I'll pour it into a glass bottle. Uh, then I'm going to drink some clean water. That was oh, actually no, we're gonna have some lemonade. That was amazing. And well worth the effort involved. Well worth it. Let's reload and weigh the crossbow again. Okay, so we want to go ahead and make a frame. We're going to want two more foldable frames. Uh, I'm going to need to activate uh, chop a tree trunk uh, into logs. No, chop down a tree. Chop a log into planks. Uh, actually, can I go for something else? Can I not use my toolbox for that? No, I guess not. We don't have a log. Oh, look. There's a log right there. There you go. Uh, four planks and 13 splinters. Oh, that's not so great, but I guess I can at least use the splinters for fuel. Uh, okay, we're going to go out and we're going to chop down some more uh, logs down uh, over here. Uh, actually, let's chop the log. Oh, can we chop, cut the tree in two planks straight up? No, we do actually need to make it logs. That's okay. From the west, you hear That would be me. Uh, cut this one into logs as well. There we go. And now, can I at least... Uh, you know, can I just uh, apply my toolbox and cut log into planks? Ugh, really? That's fantastic. You know. Let's just pick these up, carry them in. I am overburdened, but it's just going to have to happen. Now, go ahead and apply the toolbox. I'd rather use the toolbox because it has better wood sawing property, I think. There we are. And I waste a lot of wood. That's unfortunate. And cut that one. I actually didn't waste quite as much wood this time. Uh, there we go. And we've got a reasonable amount of 2x4s now. Good enough for me. Let's close that up. Uh, what have we got there? Six splintered woods. Just drop those away. Alright, we want to make fold. A folding wooden frame. We could make a wire basket, but again, it's going to need a welder for that. I'm going to need two of these. So please make two. There we go. Now, examine the vehicle. That's the front. We're going to want to install a new foldable wooden frame here. There we are. And here, we're going to want to install a foldable wooden box. Right there. There we go. Is coming together now. Its mass is 19 kilograms, though, which is not exactly great. It's only got 30. It's basically the same as my duffel bag at this point, which is a bit of a shame, but it is also a bicycle. 
So we can actually ride around on it fairly quickly. Um, but the shopping carts are still gonna gonna make sense. It's a very compact bicycle at the moment. Let's go ahead and make a wheel. We need five two by fours. We can go and make that happen, sure. I'll grab the last logs. Three logs, oof. Sure, I'll wield that log. I am going to lose a lot of stamina moving around with all of this. Just drop one of the logs. In fact, drop all of the logs. We are knackered. And recover my, oh, recover my uh, stamina there. Okay, three logs. Sure, wield the log, that's fine. Apply this, cut logs into planks. My weapon log, then apply it to cut this one, then apply it to cut this one. And drop everything over here if we can. All right, we are, we're really starting to become quite, uh, quite self-sufficient, I would say. Now, I would like to make a wheel. There we are. And let's apply this. Examine vehicle. Put this wheel over here. Install. Wheel. There we are. Wheel, no steering. Ah. Of course, we haven't made a steering wheel. Is there a... Ah, the, car, the cart wheels are not going to be for steering, are they? No, of course not. I'm going to need something better for that. Steering wheel. Um, light, utility, hull, internal, other. No, nope, nothing there. Are there anything about wheels in here that we can have a look at? Because I would very much like to make this obviously steerable. I mean, it's, it's unusable right now. Well, let's remove the uh, banded wheel then. There. Now, if I was to try and install this again, could I install it as anything other than that? No. That's unfortunate. I wonder if we made a regular wooden cartwheel, if we could make that a steering wheel. Let's have a look. Because we might. Wooden cartwheel, no. Uh, no. Okay. Then for the time being, this is not super useful. I could still drag it, but it isn't crazy useful right now. I wonder if I can also put a box there. Let's see. Can I make another frame? Can I install another box here? No, no, I can't. Not now that there's a seat there. That's fine. I'll leave this frame over here then, I guess. Uh, in fact, no, we're going to leave this frame over here. Along with anything else that is vehicle related. Now, the question I have is, over in this mess of things, have we got anything that even resembles a wheel? No. Occasionally, you might pick up a wheel, I know that sounds crazy, but uh, it's not actually that uncommon. Ah, we can no longer fold it either because of the the, car, the, the wheels there. Alright, so that plan is going to have to be nixed. Shame. Quite the shame. We may just need to get casters and use it just a, a regular um, draggable vehicle. We could actually have two boxes on it at that point. It's a bit less useful than than the uh, or less flexible. But I'm not going to abandon our idea just yet. But I am going to remove the other wheel. So let's uh, take that off. There we are. At that point we can fold the vehicle again. Okay. Let's just move that over here. We'll get there. We will get there. Folded foldable trolley. Which isn't quite as, as good as we had hoped. But we will make it work eventually. Uh, let's drink some more of that. Lemonade. Uh, we'll drink another lemonade as well. 
And then I would like to eat some meat soup. Oh, so good. So amazingly good. All right, so the the unfolding trolley, not going to be something we can do just yet. But it is something that we can look into in the future. Maybe we head up some of the garages down here. There are two garages right over here. And a fast food restaurant, in fact. And a butcher shop. And a house. I'm kind of thinking that we should probably hit those. I mean, that bookstore is super duper tempting. With, without doubt. But I think... Yeah. We are going to want to do that. And also, it would be nice to fortify this building as in the raid base. Okay, time for us to head out then. Proper. Let's make sure I've got all my right tools. I can drop the uh, golf club. I'm not going to need that where I'm going. The umbrella, the toolbox, the makeshift crowbar, the makeshift axe, the campfire drill, and the towel. That's all we really need. I will take, however, some aspirin. Let's take 10 aspirin as well. Right, that's going to be it for us for now. Let's head on down. And we will be back for you later. Is that up? Start the car. Uh, fails to start. There we go. Don't do this to me. Uh, we'll just wait for the car to get up to speed. Get over to the right side of the road. Which is the right side of the road to me. There's nothing you can do to change that. Uh, we've got a couple of NPCs around. Shirley Bonds. We've got... They, they're making a little camp over there. Well done, them. We are going to... It's good that it's getting to night time. Oh, did I slow down? Let me see. Uh, from the north... East, you hear a hum. That's fine. We're going to go cross-country a little bit here. Now, this vehicle is not so great... Off-road. I could easily run over the animals. And you can absolutely do that. If you're having trouble hunting them, you can completely... Now let's slow down a little bit. You can 100% use your vehicle to hunt. But I recommend you reinforce it for that purpose if you're going to do that. Now, we're moving into an area where I could easily crash into a wall. So let's try and avoid doing that. In fact... Gonna have to turn on the, the, the headlights. There we go. Would have been better if we could have gone down here a little bit earlier, but okay. I'll do. We now know that there's nothing ahead of us, so let's turn off the headlights again. There we go. And, oh, my skill in driving has increased. Hooray! Let's just get down onto this road. Oh, there we are. It's full night time now. There we go. And once you're on a road, you re you can be reasonably certain that you can do a, a quick turn. And let's leave the car there. All right, slow down. Pull the handbrake. And stop driving. There we go. Right, we've not come out in this direction before. So it's going to be a bit of an interesting one. Up over the fence. Go in through the back door that we no longer have. Damn it. Should probably leave a back door out there, honestly, so I don't have to walk around the front, but okay. Right. Is there anything in you? No. Good. You're coming with me, then. We are going on an adventure, you and I. I should have brought down the cash cards, thinking about... Ooh, hoo -hoo. The adventure is going to start in here first. You just hang tight. I need me some new parts. Mostly the casters, actually. Uh, and since I'm here anyway, might as well, I suppose. Grab everything. There we go. There we are, thank you. And they'll all come with us as well. Uh, because I'm really finicky. Grab that too. Okay, let's get back in here. And we'll just leave you there. Uh, I'm going to need to fortify this place again, aren't I? Yes, I am. The bed I don't want to take apart because, you know, it's nice to have a bed. I wonder if we can fill these uh, windows. Let's have a look. 
Have we got anything we can do? All the way up. We probably do not. I want to board up the window. I'm gonna need more nails. Yeah. I got any nails down here? No. Uh, on the plus side, actually, we might be able to sort this out. Yeah, I'm going to, for now, we're just going to take you apart. Remove the casters. There we are. Remove the shopping cart basket. Then remove the light, extra light frame. I mean, you know, it's going to be useful for us. Uh, we'll just leave that there. I will not worry about fortifying the, oh, I my umbrella. I'm not going to worry about fortifying this place for now. We're, but we we will eventually get all of those walls set up again. I guess I could go in here and grab some. No, 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 no. I'm going to get distracted if I do that. Let's go elsewhere, shall we? Now, let's be quiet about it. What is over here? I want to actually investigate. It's in the orchard, apparently. Are there things worth getting in an orchard, I wonder? Uh, there's a small building here that has been broken into. What have we got? A canvas sack of commercial fertilizer. Okay. I guess there may have been some tools here at some point then. Oh, hello. Um, no. Not today, thanks. Thank you, but no. I guess I have to, though. Uh, Alright, let me drop down the uh, crossbow. All of these. There we are. Wield my forked spear. Hello. You learned that maybe you failed. Because you suck. I, however, do not. And so you are dead. There we are. Nice and easy. Is there anything down here worth taking? There is a cash card, actually. Uh, leather pants might not be bad. I'll come back for those, though. For now, not a huge concern. Where these? Grab my uh, toolbox, can't fire drill, wield my umbrella again, and then apply my towel, dry myself off. Okay, so not too much in, in this little area here, but still, it was it was interesting to see. Now, right, let's drop off the... Oh, I've got my axe with me. Why do I Ah, oh, well. It's not, it's not inherently terrible to, ha to have that with me. Uh, in fact, I'm going to drop my uh, wet towel in there as well. Alright, let's take the battle rally. Actually, I'd like to wait for five minutes. I heard something. Yes, stop waiting. Where was that something? It was up above. Keep moving away from it then. Move towards wherever this garage is. See if we can't get into it easily from this side. There is a corpse there. Is there a door? There it is. Oh, thank goodness. Right, you stop there. A couple of things in here. So immediately drop off these. Wield my fork spear. And drop my umbrella for now as well. What have we got? A uh, blue work shirt, a tool belt, very nice, very nice indeed, and also a console that I'm going to be able to tear apart. All right, that is actually pretty good. Move all of that in. There we are. And the issue here is that things outside are going to be able to see me. These are glass walls, so it's not something I I'm, I'm, I can't just wait here. But I'm going to wait for five minutes. Um, actually, I will also put all of my stuff in here, just in case I need to bail on this area really sharpish. Doesn't look like I do, though. So, let's wield these for now. In fact, I'd like to wield the crossbow. There we go. Let's have a look in here. Can I close? No, there's nothing to close. We have got metal grates. Uh, that will be uh, where they would lift the cars that they were working on. Oh wow, this is a very under-equipped garage. Damn. No water in there either. Uh, do I have my crowbar with me? No, I don't. I need to go and grab that. What have we got? Glow plug? 
A cylindrical heating device designed to be screwed into a diesel engine to aid starting in cold weather. Also got an exacto knife. Eh, I mean, we can use it for things. A UPS compatible recharging station. Oh. Now, this is very interesting. We can fit that to our electric car. A unified power system recharging station designed to operate on vehicle power. Once installed into a vehicle storage space and turned on from vehicle controls, it will slowly charge all tools with rechargeable batteries in that space. The system can only be installed in existing storage compartments. So we could use... We've got a four-seat car. We don't need that. We can actually replace that with a lot more storage space. We can take, take out the two rear seats, replace them with, with the storage space, or, or other things, actually. Um, one of them could be UPS storage. Pop in a storage space in there, put in the UPS compatible recharging station, and then any tools that we have rechargeable batteries on, we can put it in there and it'll charge off the car's battery. Now, what do we have here? I'm, I'm, oh, I was so excited. I didn't want to say it because it, it almost looks like a piece of paper. So I was going to let people think about it, but I was like, oh, I'm really excited. Yes, it is. Fantastic. We've got a solar panel. We can install that on the car. Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Okay, let's grab you. Let's get everything into you. That is going to be huge for us. And there we go. That's what we're sort of. There we go. And all of that as well. Now then, now let's leave that there. I want my crowbar. Makeshift crowbar. Can we get in here? Nothing. Nothing. That is a bit of a shame. Okay. Well, you know. You're not going to get uh, brilliant loot every time. Oh, am I running? I am running. Okay. Well, let's close this. I am, however, going to completely disassemble this console. If I can. There we are. Uh, let's dump all of that in here. There we go. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, let's actually have a look at the battle trolley. Uh, you've got a fair bit of room, actually. I could take apart these lockers if I really wanted to. I don't want to do that right now, though. Uh, but this place it has been, for all intents and purposes, looted. This one's still got loot there that I can go for. We have got another garage just across the street. Now, the problem is we are now moving deeper into the town to get there. Oh, dear. Something is breaking a car. I know it's silly of me to walk towards it. Um, especially considering everything. I'm going to try and get up to... What? Is that a smoker? It must be a smoker. Damn it. There's lots of things around here, actually. This is a little bit worrisome. There we go. I want to quickly drop as much of this off as I can. Um, we obviously don't want to drop everything, though. Anything we're going to use, we need to keep. Solar panel is super important, though. Uh, all of these. Get all of that in there. And all of that as well. There we go. Good. Close. Wield my umbrella. I should have worn uh, wield that before. There we go. There appear to be some cars on the road. That is good news for me. What I want to do now, though, is whilst i am got these items on me, I can just drop all of this in there. The duffel bag, the large quiver, the crossbow as well can go in there. There we go. This way, once we discover the shady zombies, and we are going to discover them again, I can... Ah, there we go. Right. Run again. And straight back up, wield my fork spear. Go. I'll very quickly dispatch you. Probably without any wounds either, because we are actually quite, quite dangerous. Given that we're this close, uh, unless there's something extremely important on there, uh, flay it now. We'll come and pick that up later. 
I want to see what cars were in this street though. I need to be wielding my umbrella so I'm, oh. Damn it! Of course. Take my eyes off it for a second. Why where was the warning this time, game? Where was the warning? Alright. Run backwards. Wield my uh fork spear. Take you out as quickly as I can. Damn, what are you damaging? A water skin? Really? I mean it makes sense actually. You're, you're trying you're trying to make it difficult for me to be able to uh continue fighting. Clever girl. I'm gonna I'm not actually hurt right now because they've only damaged my armor. I am gonna drink though. And I'm gonna stop running. I'm gonna wait for five minutes. Let anything that can see me come to me. Alright. I'm gonna carry on. Well, a little ways to go. We've got a very messed up car down here. What was this? And uh, oh, this is a pickup truck. Alright, let's have a look through. Anything of any particular worth to me? The controls might be good to take out. Um, no, not a lot. I mean, there's lots of cargo space, obviously. It's a pickup truck. Could maybe get the tanks. But get items on. Well, actually, let me just stand here and then use this so I can see what what is around me. What's around? Anything good? That's gasoline? Probably just... Uh, they probably ruined one of the tanks. Plastic jerry can. Now that we will take. That we will take. Now we've got another car down here. The smoke is worrying me. The smoke is worrying me a lot, actually. Car alternator I wouldn't mind getting. Vehicle tank, rear window. Um, actually, yeah. I'm gonna try and take out the alternator. If this car still has its alternator, car battery, eh, it's not great. I could possibly take that. Um, no, we'll remove that. Does it have an alternator though? The alternator would usually be by the battery. I mean, I can't imagine the alternator would be anywhere else, but... You never know. Sometimes it's worth checking, at the very least. Now, let's grab that car battery. We're bringing that with us. But I am also going to examine this vehicle, and if I can get the alternator, I will. Yes, I can. I uh, hear a crash. There's definitely something very close. Something very close. Really doesn't want me to get away with this car tonight. Pop that in there. Could be another shady zombie. Also. I could be doing a lot of silliness getting even close to this. Because I can't tell where it is. It's a zombie, and that zombie can see me. Copy my way. Alright then, zombies. Let's have a fight. You know what's funny, though? It's at this range. Ah, uh, no, actually, you can still see me, but it would have been amusing if you couldn't. Right, let's let you get close. Uh, let you get close. There you go. And then. And once more. No. Hmm. Make use of your ability to attack from distance. Don't ignore it. I know it's super tempting to, to be like, well, I'm, I'm decent enough fighting right now. No, don't ever do that. That is how you die. That is how you become complacent. It's how I was becoming really complacent earlier. And I reined myself in. I've lost too many characters to overconfidence. I will lose more characters to overconfidence over time. But I'm going to do my best not to. What are you doing? Can you come, come out and say hi? And then I will say hi to you. And by high, I mean stab you a lot. Come on, let's get rid of you. Do you stop breaking the cars? They're valuable assets. Where's the other one? I'm fairly... Oh, yeah, it is a smoker. Oh, dear. Smoker has got me. Nope. And I'm I'm inhaled lungfuls of thick smoke. 
Okay, I just need to kill you as quickly as I can and get out of this horrible smoke that just exploded there. Oh, that is awful. I'm now coughing heavily. I need to bail. I need to bail somewhere safe for the moment while I cough my lungs out and try and get my... Uh... I was hurt. Stop waiting. Yes, by what? Oh, it's because I'm coughing so much. Yeah, yeah, it's going to hurt for a while. No, don't stop. Just keep going. It's rough. I need to just get it out of my system. There's nothing you can do about it, but just wait it out. Okay, took a bit of damage on my trench coat, my water skin, my pants there. But we got rid of a smoker. Ah, I, I'm sorry I didn't actually read through that. I should have. I do apologize. Uh, heard noise. Ignore it unless something shows up. Ah, uh, you are definitely something that showed up. Can you see me? You can. That is remarkably bad. Okay, have we added a look at this? With his grey skin swollen to me a rupture with putrid gas, the cyst-covered zombie looks like it could violently burst under the slightest disturbances. I need to run away so it isn't close. Because these are basically uh, zombie bombs. I need to run away enough that I can grab my crossbow. Take one shot and it'll explode. But it will draw a lot of attention to it. But you know what? I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode on a bit of a cliffhanger. We are out and about. We are raiding garages, actually raiding cars as well, taking all of the useful parts back to the uh, back to the shelter. Uh, and just to clue you in on why I cared about the batteries and the alternators is not to put it in the car in the electric car. The electric car doesn't need it. No, we may we've got a we've got a pair of foot pedals. Okay, bear with me. We've got foot pedals. We've got batteries. We've got a frame that. It's not going to be useful for what I hoped it was going to be useful for, but we can still make it useful for something because we can pedal to charge up the batteries using the alternators and then we've got indoors electricity. We're going up in the world, little by little. Uh, yes, this is only one step away from running on a treadmill to power your microwave, but shush. It'll work, damn it. But that's going to be where we wrap this one up. I really do hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you'll be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, do take care, survivors. <laughs>